Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to create such a UI that is going to help you to display a search bar whenever the scroll view is not being animated and whenever you are basically uh, interacting with the scroll view, the search bar is going to be hidden. So this is a very common feature in most of the shopping apps that you might have used. So I'm going to show you how we can create such a view with search functionality. So uh, the things that I am going to use with the, um, to implement this functionality is searchable, on scroll phase change, and view builder. On scroll phase change is basically introduced in iOS 18. So you are going, also going to learn how you can use it to handle different states of a scroll view for this purpose. So make sure that your project is set to iOS 18 because here I'm going to show you the final code and when I'm going to see it, with iOS 16 or 15, it is giving me errors. So I'm going to set it to iOS 18. So this is the first step. After that, we are going to create a simple struct item in a new file with the name item. So here I'm going to create two of the properties. One is ID and the other one is the name of the type string. Next, I'm going to create a view that is going to act as a view between your search bar and your actual scrollable view which is going to be called the header view so it can contain different type of text and filters usually and we want this view to stay on the top of our scroll view and our search bar to be hidden so this is the actual ui that we want for this project so first i am entering here some random categories you can add any of the strings that you want so there are the few categories that I've added. After that, I'm going to create an H tag. That is, this is going to contain a title and a filter button. So I'm going to create here a text along with an image with SF symbol. These um, controls are not interactable. So if you want to add functionality to it, you need to further improve this code. I'm just going to add here the stubs to just make the UI that I have shown you. So I've added a spacer and then a padding to make it more presentable. Now I'm going to create a scroll view, which is a horizontal scroll view that is going to show you all of these categories. So let's iterate over the categories and create an entry for each of the category in the form of a text UI element. So fix this error, move the bracket at the right place, and this is how your UI is going to look like. So I have changed the padding from all around to horizontal to improve the category names UI. And after that, I've added a little bit of a padding to the entire eight stack. Now we are going to move to content view. In the content view, I'm going to create First, a variable that is going to contain our search string with the name of search text. Next, I'm going to create columns because I've already shown you that we are going to create all of the items in the form of a double columned grid. So for that, I'm going to create here the columns. Next, I'm going to paste here the items. So items uh, just have the files in the form of images inside my assets folder. So I have passed all of that names inside my array and I have duplicated the names so that we have enough data to scroll down. Next, I have created the array with the name of filtered items, which is going to contain all of the items that are filtered after applying a search string or a certain category. Remember that I have not added any functionality to the header view for the interactive and user input. Here I'm creating a scroll view and after that a lazy recreate for the columns that I've shown you earlier. 
it is going to be a two column grid with a spacing of 20. Next, I'm going to iterate over the filter items and I'm going to create entry for each of the item in the form of an image. Again, these items are not interactable. We are not opening the details because I just wanted to show you the search functionality. So here I'm adding it a little bit of a frame. These are the assets that I have used. And you have seen here that I have duplicated the names to increase the number of items. So next here, I'm going to write a code of on appear in which I'm going to populate this filtered items and pass the actual item list to it so that initially we have all the items inside my filtered items array being displayed on the screen. On the right hand side, you can see how the items are looking like. So next I'm going to show you here, if you use a simple searchable, how it's going to look like. So there is a search bar, but when I'm scrolling up and down, it is being shown and hidden. So when I'm going to add here a header view, that functionality has stopped working. So if I move the header view inside scroll view, it's working, but then the header view is not being displayed, but we want the header view to be displayed on the top of scroll view and the search bar to be hidden. So we need to change the code a bit to handle this thing. So first of all, let's add a simple extension that is going to help us to use the searchable with an if statement. So we are going to pass here a condition and a content, which is going to be our searchable. So if we have a certain bool set to true, we are going to set the searchable on the top. Otherwise, we are going to hide it. So all of this functionality is covered inside this view builder. So this is the complete extension. Next, we are going to apply it to our searchable view to achieve what I have already shown you. But first create the bool value, which is a variable of the name is scrolling set to false because initially we will not be scrolling the UI. So if it's set to false, we are going to display the searchable in this manner. We are using here the text uh, sorry, view builder that I have shown you earlier. We are adding here a prompt. And next on the function of on submit, I'm going to see that if there is something inside the search text, we are going to apply here a function. Otherwise, we are just going to return all of the items inside the filtered items array. So let's write that function, which is going to help us filter the entries inside this content view. So first we are going to create an empty array. Next we are going to iterate over all the items and going to search for the search text that we have entered inside our searchable text field. and append it to our filtered items. The functionality is very straightforward and we are going to call it on line number 62. So when I'm going to press enter, the results should be filtered, but this is not happening. This is due to this small error. So once I fixed it, you are going to see here that the results are being filtered now. So we are going to see here two bananas and four bottles of oil. So it means that our searchable UI is working now after applying the view builder to it. So next here, I'm going to handle the functionality of the cancel button. So whenever you start typing something to it, you are going to see a cancel button on the right hand side of the searchable and it's not working for now. So we need to add this kind of functionality to handle it. So here I'm going to show you that if we have not entered anything new, it means that we have interacted with the search bar and we have pressed the cancel button. So we are going to update the filter items with all of the items. It means that we want to basically cancel out the search. So this is how this is being handled here. 
on scroll phase change, I am going to look into the previous phase of the scroll and the current phase of the scroll to decide that if the user is now scrolling or not. And then according to that, we are going to handle the variable is scrolling. So if the speed is decreasing, which means that the scroll view is decelerating and now it sits idle, we are going to set is scrolling to false. Otherwise, we can set it to true. And let's see how the result looks like. There are four to five phases of scroll view that are being presented to on scroll phase change. So when we are going to set it to true, you have seen here that once we have stopped scrolling, the search bar is not appearing which is obvious because if the phase is even idle even in that case the scrolling is set to true so we are going to set here the name of the phases that whenever these phases are taking place we need to set is scrolling to true so you can see here now the search bar is being hidden during scroll and then it comes back immediately after we stopped scrolling so this part of the code is complete now we are going to run this code inside simulator and see if there is any other issue with the code and let's fix that otherwise we are done with the code so when we are searching for something and we apply the filter and then we scroll all of the items reappear so there is a small change in the code to handle that so we are basically updating the filtered items in on a pair of the scroll view we need to change it So it means that if there is nothing in the search bar, we can simply update the filtered items. Otherwise, we do not need to play around with it and we are going to stick with the current filtered results. So this is all for this tutorial. I hope you are able to grasp this concept and you will be able to use it inside your code. Do not forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.